I'm going to host the projects we project we has uh, we has been building. So this project, um, we will use the Varsa. So Varsa, which is really nice uh, as a hobby, it is free. Uh, but there is a network request limitation. Uh, but uh, if your project grow faster in the future, you might increase the pro or enterprise. So for now, uh, I'm okay with the hobby. So I go to the dashboard uh, and then I will, I will start creating the new project. Before it, we have to do the most important thing, which is you go to your project folder API and the ABI, uh, we will do the server side first. We will host the server side first. That's why I go the ABI, ABI folder. Then I create varset.json. This JSON, only you need that JSON, okay? So the rest is very easy. So in, in here, you can define your version like varset version. For your project version is one or two. I start with the two. Uh, for the name, I will, I will give like uh, node shop, S-H-O-P. No shop API. So this will be our name of the project. And then define is very important. If you be here index.js, you should uh, create index.js. If you did the other like app.js, you should, the name should be match. So this is a build and this is a route. So the route will be, you know, under the SRC folder. Uh, I I give a command, you can you can run there any folder in here. So this is a versus JSON. And then after that, you have to push into the Git repo. And I will show you the Git repo I will use. So this is the Git repo. Uh, under the ABI, you should uh, put, push your um, facet.json file here. So it will be synchronized this file when we create the facet project. So uh, right now, if you want to test, you can fork that project under your Git repo and you can use that project as well uh, don't forget to give it a start <laughs> so um so i will go to the dashboard here so i will delete this one we don't need so in dashboard you go new project and then uh you can find your uh, project here so um for me i i already found my project no to real shop so i import so here you can edit uh, root directory is very important so for us right now we are going to host api so i, I choose api if it is client later i will choose client so i go continue then environment variable we can add environment variable from our dot emp file so we have port 3000 so i will say uh, port 3000 and then mongodb url so i copy and i add uh, mongodb url here and the value will be this one and I say add and another one will be JWD secret key so this is a key I I have no show one two three four you can add your and uh, pp client ID pp client ID so I go here and I will add copy that pp client ID key so I will add but after it deploying so we'll wait just in one or two minutes. So as you see, um, so as you see, our project is now ready. So when I visit, uh, when I visit, it's fine uh, because it's, uh, we don't have the uh, UI for this. So if you remember like ABI, Fit slash PYPL people, so you will got the API response, which means that's it totally fine. So we got our uh, when I fetch about API select product, we have the, the error. So, in when you got the error, you can go and check in the log and uh, the project you just built, and you will see the uh, error because it's Mongo server. So in the Mongo server, uh, you go into the network access and then you should add the IP like, um, add IP address. Yeah, this entry temporary will be deleted no. So access is this under IP address. Okay, I will say 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 slash 0 which mean I can access from everywhere. So confirm. Um, OK, 
Okay, let, let's try it again. Yeah. So after after I add 0 0.0.0.0, 0 .0, 0 .0, so, 0, so when we fetch, our network return the uh, product list. So it means that our API is working. So when I now, I will host for the website. So I go into the uh, into the my home page of the Varset and then create new project. The repo will be the same. Um, so we will edit here again. Now we will choose client. So I say continue and I will I don't need environment variable in client. I will deploy. So we will continue to the dashboard and visit and and yeah for sure because uh, that we for the client we have to push uh, into the GitHub repo because the base URL will be right now is look at host uh, we should uh, push the later code here this one so I will uh, stop the server I will say git at Cumm ID commit dash m at um, base URL then git push so it will be good after that you don't need to touch anything it will be update automatically when when you come here you know uh, now it is bidding after you push it because it has the bidding CI CD uh, deployment so that's profit. We'll, we just need to wait. So now it's ready. Let me check. Let me check. Perfect. So you see our Node.js project is in the website. So you can, uh, I will attach that link in the description. You can go and pass. So let me go and the add to cart. Oh, I, ha I have to log in. So we have user account, say, uh, um, hello, Jan, login. Oops. So uh, if you found like that kinds of error, uh, what, uh, so this is the another tip I will show you. Um, if you know uh, tip and tricks, the life is very easy. So if I go login, select login, if I click directly from UL, you will get like this in a Varset project. Uh, you have to do under the client folder, you have to create the VRC.js and Varset as well. So here you have to add um, the, 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 the soul and the destination like me. So I will push it into the git repo. Uh, git add dot and then at we are see a faster json get push oops uh gnd view as come on view as a push so um we'll go and check the deployment yeah so it's now building we'll wait again to go i think This one, yeah. Now, as you see, after we, uh, after we add the Varset JSON file, now the login is working. Uh, whenever you call the login from URL or any other thing, you will not see like this. So I will say user at gmail.com. The person I think one two three four five six seven eight. So uh, now I am logging as you see. So I will go here. I will add to car. So then I will check out here. So this is the example address I save and then I pay with the people. Perfect. So this is just uh, testing from the top to bottom of the project in the Farcel hosting site. So it's totally perfect. So I will attach it and you can text uh, the website from that link in the YouTube description. Thank you guys.